Ladies and gentlemen, I am your Planetary Defense Commander, Star-Lord Nuthor 7. And I'm here to let y'all know that the halftime of hurricane season is now over and we are entering the second round. So I tried to rest up as best as I could and now we are back at it. And guess what? It's going to keep getting wild and wilder. So we are going to have to work together to adapt to these earth weather changes. What we're looking at here is a giant mega massive Quetzalcoatl dinosaur dragon storm of rain bands. The green is rain. And that's a lot of rain. This is a story of fire and ice. We're going to have some heat and some freezing. As things are getting a tad bit cray cray. All right. So yeah, this is brought to us by Grego the other day. Oof. Seems to be the phrase going through weather Twitter these days. We're getting a lot of looks at the storm, which is about 10 to 8 days away. It will be moving through the middle of America after coming up as Vincente through Mexico. And then it'll just be meeting up like three major storm systems forming a massive Voltron storm system. It's like the next level boss of severe weather for us. We've been getting hit pretty hard. I don't know if you guys know this, but um, we've been hit by like five hurricanes in 14 months. And four of them were category four or higher. And guess what? You know, I'm like, volcanoes, man, they matter. Well, this volcano spewing out the giant tower of black ash is from Colima in Mexico. So, me being in Texas, I think a lot of the moisture coming out of the region and into Texas, we're going major flooding in the rivers right now in the middle near Austin, Marble Falls. That's coming because Mother Nature is trying to warm herself down. So the moisture is coming around near where the active volcanoes are. And in the last year, we've had the Mexico Fuego volcano erupt. We've had the Mexico... I'm sorry, the Me Mexico Papacatepetito volcano erupt. Guatemala's Fuego volcano erupted. And then now we have Mexico's Colima volcano erupted. So this is just in the one little area. So the volcano situation is very active. And not surprisingly, the heavy rainfall situation and the high wind situation is also very active. Which reminds me, it's over here, somewhere near the major storm area we're watching, anywhere from the 26th. 27th, 85 degrees there, or it was, and so, oh, it changed on me, already, anyway, this had it at 90 degrees, this had it at 90 miles an hour, which would be crazy, but no matter what, there's a big major monster storm, and all of weather Twitter is locked in on it, so, the volcanoes, you got volcanoes down here, and then you got a bunch of fires and smoke up here. So it is active everywhere. Now we're getting a top-down look. It's kind of like we're looking down the shirt of Earth. That's a bad joke, and I apologize. Look at all, this, all the rain bands and all the clouds. And so this is a giant snake dragon serpent. It's codal storm and texas is bearing the brunt of it a lot of rivers in texas are at very heavy rainfall rates and texas will be continuing to get a lot of rain over the next week i'll do a specific video on that after this right now I'm telling everybody in america get ready the next three weeks are going to be kind of funky especially up to the um, election i imagine everything's going to be funky it's brought to us by peter mullinax Many folks in South and East will want to pay attention to soon-to-be Vincente. The storm will be steered between an upper-level trough west of Baja and high pressure over the Gulf. The STI strengthens. And I hear 
it's better than a UTI, leads to more rain in Texas and most of the South next week. So that is really bad news for us, Texas. Um, man, we're getting floody and rainy all over. And there's potential for the West Coast to possibly get hit with an atmospheric river next week. From a hell of a jet. And see how volcanoes are down there and then the moisture's coming up there. Crazy days indeed, my friends. Greg again, bringing the hammer home. And we're looking at the low pressure spot here. And usually, under a low pressure spot, you're going to get some type of rain, wind, a little, little bit of severe weather. And it jumps from a heart to a giant potato pickle you choose. And that would be 950 degree, or 950 millibars. I'm sorry, 980, which would make it a category one-ish hurricane. Or nor'easter, although I don't think it's going to have frozen properties. And then the King Euro spit out this the zero zero Z from today has our Azores pressure highs. Underneath would be three low pressure spots. And in a worst case scenario, these two could become hurricanes. True story, man. You know, worst case scenario, I've been rolling with that all for like the last two and a half years. It's almost worked every single time, you know, because um, with Hurricane Michael, everybody's like, we were so surprised by its intensity. I was like, I was not. That's why I put a warning out technically about 45 days ago in my 90 minute, 90 day warning. And then I put out a like a 30 day warning on the 26th. I mean, 35 day, which we're in now. So this is the heavy part. So yeah, I'm not surprised. Like It's going to get weird, dude. That's why we all need to come together. So that's a worst case scenario there showing the Azores high steering what could possibly be low pressure systems. And this is like 85 degrees. Definitely enough, hot enough for category one, two, three, four hurricanes. So like here was the storm earlier that the wind T had pulled up and that one was the Euro, which is like they call the King Euro. And this showed one of them to have a 98 mile per hour wind gusts and then just be like a giant storm leg. And here, 84 degrees. So, Hurricane Rock, rock Fuel. And here's the projection over the next, this may be two weeks, of the same areas where you got, okay, Guatemala volcano down here, and then you got Papa Kettle, and then Kalima over here so yeah we're getting a lot of moisture in the same areas man a lot of that moisture is causing trouble in Mexico and then up through Texas and as I mentioned before we got hit by five hurricanes in 14 months that idea of building a wall is stupid because we're all flooding out man like right now look up I mean do you know how much we've had like three trillion dollars worth of infrastructure damaged since the start of 2017 it was my dumbass idea to keep track of all of it trying to inform you guys about it so yeah if everything's raining and flooding can't build no damn wall and we're all having to deal with these changes together right now we only have 115 rivers flooding a lot of them I think are in, in Texas and up through the middle of America and remember we have a ton of rain coming all throughout Texas and all up here flooded out and we got a ton of rain coming what was this oh yeah and the energy been, energy has been so weird it's been hard for me to concentrate enough to edit plus I've been feeling kind of sick I feel a little better okay and once again I highly recommend you follow Cranky Weather Guy um, he breaks everything down for you he's got a blog up for our stormy potential through the rest of the month. Because as I keep saying, everybody's pretty in unison that, yeah, it's going to get real stormy. So I'll leave a link to his blog in the information box in the video for you. And I was saying here at Thorn News, when the sun acts weird, 
Earth weather acts weird. The people go crazy. And it's true. So this is brought to us by Jeanette Gallagher. Dr. Jeanette. It's the most powerful day. New Orleans. Whoa. I agree. And it's weird. If you look here, A, I like the color blue. And it almost looks like a doorway. Like, don't, like a square. That's crazy. Da da boo, the wave master showing us that 980, which would be a cat one, cat two ish hurricane right in the area that has been getting picked on for a while. And I've been saying, you know, Mother Nature's been picking on the East Coast for about a year and a half now, and that she's going to continue to do so. Rain or shine. I mean, just rain, rain, regardless of season. So, you know, between the now and the end of hurricane season, which is the end of November, we could get hit by two more hurricane strength systems. Or we could just see a shit ton of rain. Either way, the old way of just standing around, fighting and farting about every stupid little political thing, ain't getting us nowhere. It's all y'all been doing forever. Okay. Here, Dakota Smith says, offshore flow season has begun and just look how crazy these clouds are Martin. there's so many clouds and so much moisture going on right now webcams de mexico see like this whole this is like a giant splash of mega massive clouds and rain da da boo okay so like yeah this thing is i mean the system it keeps changing but everybody's you know, we don't know exactly what, when, how, where, but we have ideas. So everybody needs to be on alert, be getting ready. And you see every time people wait to the last minute to go buy hurricane supplies. Like, dude, if you're on the East Coast, go get them now. You know, and don't get shit you wouldn't eat or use without it, but I'm saying water. Is always the first to go. By Nick L. Tr Nick Eel Try. DC area wicks. Models still show a strong signal for a storm on the last few days of October. This will come ahead of a cold front, so do not expect snow with this system. Still has the potential to be very photogenic on satellite. That is code for a really major massive storm, dude. So I will try to get back in the swing of things because we got a lot going on. And a lot has happened. These are wild times. But one of the things that's making everything extra wild is the fact that all the planets are on the same side of the sun. And that matters a whole lot. We will get into it more in the future. Because I make multiple videos. I'm going to edit one. I'm going to really try. It's like I'm getting zapped by aliens in my brain they're like you cannot concentrate with the hyper focus you would need to edit okay so yeah all the planets on the same side of the sun and I, I think that's affecting things a lot and so earth is taking the lead of the solar system here and then venus passes us and plus it's like earth has been right next to venus and like down here and then he was trapped in between Mars. It's like having your mom and your dad. Like, man, I just want some breathing room. You know? So not only does Earth want the breathing room, but he's got to lead the solar system as, as we all spin around together. It's crazy, man. Yeah, no, like angular momentum, velocity, uh, viscosity. No, I'm just trying to sound smart. But see, and then Venus takes the lead. But this stuff is, we need more balance in the solar system. But that is coming. Anyway. I love you guys. I appreciate you. Oh, yeah. And today is the day where, like, in the middle of a month, I take, like, one day out and I say, uh, I'm a publicly funded channel, and so, and I bring you this information, like, 10 days before it happens. So, uh, if you, I survive and exist on your contributions and donations, prayers, thoughts, well wishes, and handwritten letters. So I will leave my PayPal link in the bottom. If you want to appreciate me, I want to be appreciated. And I'll leave the P.O. box in the bottom. Man, I love getting a letter. 
they're cool. And you guys are great. And I love you. Things are crazy. But we will make it through if that is what we choose to do. This is predestiny and free will. And don't let any goofball try and convince you otherwise. Stay cool. God bless everyone. May the force be with you always. Let us live long and prosper together. Yep, rally the realms. Winter is coming. Unite the Americas.